it's June the 30th. It's um, the morning of my appointment with my OB specialist. Um, since we just finished our first round of the Clomid and the Provera, then we find out today if it worked and if I'm pregnant. Um, it doesn't usually work the first month, so I wouldn't be disappointed in the least. In fact, I would be surprised if I was pregnant this month. Um, but it has happened, so that's pretty much why we have any kind of hope this month. Um, I will post later in a video more in depth um, on my actual condition, my PCOS, and, and why it has inhibited us from being able to get pregnant thus far. Um, it's something that I've struggled with my entire life. Um, it's serious and it's no fun, um, but it's common. And um, I, I want to share that story with everybody and I want people to understand that it's, you know, although it's definitely an inconvenience, it's normal. A lot of women don't come forward and talk about it. Um, but, you know, we're trying to have a baby. Um, I have a seven-year-old. Um, that I had with, in a previous relationship. And um, it was just one of those lucky moments. I just got pregnant. Um, but this far, thus far, I haven't been able to have, you know, any luck. So, um, we are definitely on this journey. And I'd love if you guys would join me. Um, I will keep you updated. I will definitely post today whether it was positive or not um, and if it's not then we have five more months to take this medication um, and then if not then we move on to something a little more aggressive so keep us in your prayers um, we know we definitely want this it's all that we think about um, and um, that that's why I'm so open with it and I want to share it with whoever wants to hear about it um, Again, I'll definitely make a longer video um, about my condition and things later on. Um, so yeah, you'll hear from me later today though. And uh, just keep us in your prayers. And I hope everybody has a good day. Talk to you guys later. Bye. <laughs>
and it's like not a good idea to take when you're pregnant. So, um, we will see what happens. Um, I love my doctor. He's super informative and he's sweet. And he was just like, don't worry. Like, you know, this is your first month. And he's like, I would, he's like, it's so rare that you really ovulated. And it's even more rare that you are pregnant or like more uncommon. So we, you know, have five more months to keep going. And um, after that, he even said that he was like, if you're not pregnant after five months, then we'll move you up to a subspecialist and the medication gets a little bit more intense. Um, he wants me to start taking um, my diabetes medication on a constant basis, which I haven't been doing because it's nasty. But he said, he's like, he said that metformin in um, combination with Clomid can sometimes really help with the whole situation because ultimately it's all about keeping your blood sugars under control. So anyways, that's pretty much what happened. Um, and like I said, I'm not, I'm not disappointed. Um, this gives me another month to get myself healthy and continue to go to the gym and take my medications and do my plexus and eat right and all that stuff and get my body ready for baby. So, um, if you guys want to keep following my journey, go ahead and subscribe and, uh, click like and, uh, I will keep you guys updated. All right, I'm going to get off here before I get myself in trouble. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.